guys welcome back to this channel and in today's video i just want to talk about what we call the free lancer visa agents the agents and the free lancer visa what should you know definitely how do you want to trust when i when is the right time for you to trust that agent and when is what are you supposed to get from that agent to either prove is a genuine agent or is not a genuine agent Yes, in this video, I'm going to give you exactly a full detail of how you can find out whether this is a genuine agent or not a genuine agent. In that case, by the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, by the way, don't forget to support and don't forget to press that subscribe button because it will be the only way that I'll be motivated to make more content for you and to look for more height or share with you more of this. Yes, let us look at recruitment agencies. Let us look at freelancer agents. The freelancer visas in Qatar is becoming a problem, especially under what you call Qatar work visa sponsorship jobs. Yes, most of that, most of you, you've opted to come for what you call freelancers visas. Yes, you don't want to be under company because you don't want to be under company accommodation. You need to be to have what you call your own life of style away from the company shielding or company instructions. But this has created more cries for everyone every day. Why? Because you've trusted or you've worked with agents and have ended up being disappointed. You are disappointed in the, such a way that you've got visas here, you've agreed, you paid a given amount of money with that agent. That agent, you come into the country, you are getting disappointed. This agent does not have work for you. He has promised you hell, heaven and hell, heaven and uh, earth for you. You'll have this salary, you'll have this job, but you come into the country, this agent does not have any job for you. Getting a QID for this agent from the this agent becomes another problem. On top of what you pay to the agent, the agent comes inside, you come into the country, he asks for additional amount of money. You are not working. You've not started work. Where are you going to start working without a QID? Which company or which person would really want to risk his business to employ you? Or to hire you without what you call a QA. Unless you are going to be hidden in what you call houses. No company will agree. The first thing they will first need to check out what is the status or the resident status for you. Are you allowed to stay in the country? The only way or the only thing that says that you are allowed to stay in the country is having what you call a QA. These agents have run away. They do not have, some of them do not have offices. You just meet on the way, you meet in the malls, you, you, all your dealings, all your meetings are in the mall. He rented a very big house for you to stay, he will call you, come to this mall, come to this area, we meet, he gives you documents, he runs away. You don't even know his office. We need just to get over this. The agents, please, stop the people from crying. The agents, freelancer agents in Qatar, stop the people from crying. Do a very good connection. What I advise you, you've had what you call double standards. What you call the double standards. Someone pays you money. He comes into the country. You have to double, make the person pay more money. It's not working. What's the problem, the agents here in Qatar? The freelancer visa agents in Qatar. You are dealing with people, with the companies that don't have offices. And you're scripting people, which is not right. Yes, let me go to the person who is looking for freelancer visa right now. You should be very careful. If you are dealing with an agent or if you are dealing with that person that is promising you visa, you paid at the money. Ask for the visa, ask for what you call the QID of that person. If he's a genuine agent, ask for his QID. If he's in Qatar, if he's in Dubai, wherever it may be. I know this is not going to sound a little bit good to some of them. You'll have to come to fight back. But let us try to have that one, that you need the money. You need to hope, but hope with your whole sum. Ask the visa. One of the documents you should ask from that agent who is promising you to give the visa. If you are in Qatar, ask for his copy of QID. Ask, check the photo of that person. Ask for a copy of the QID and ask a copy of his passport, including his mobile number. He will send the visa for you. In that case, even if he runs away, even if he runs away, you have a photocopy of his QID and you have a photocopy of his passport. When you go to the embassy of Uganda to report, this person will be very easy to track. 
When you go to the police or when you go to police in Qatar with a copy of the QID, this person is going to be easy to track. And you definitely find out to this person where he's hiding. Or if he took out the manuscript out of you, that's the best way or the best person, part of it all that you will have to track this person. Yes, make sure that QID is valid for that person. Let that person not give you an expired QID. Let the agent give you what you call a QID that is valid, that is valid for more than six months. That is a requirement for all documentation. Even if it's passport, even if it's QID, it should be valid for more than six months before you start paying in the money for you. Hope I've tried to share something for you, for those people that come here on what you call freelancer visa or apply for freelancer visa and you're outside or you're outside Qatar in that case. Look for the office of that agent. Yes, he can give you the office number. Normally what happens here in Qatar, we have what you call blueprints. What you call blueprints. Blueprints are on the building. They will give you the zone number. They will give you the, the building number. They will give you what you call um, uh, the street number where that office is. You can take the blueprint Blue let him also send you what you call the blue, blue print. If you want to find out his office, let him send you the blue print of that building where his office is. Those ones are some of the documents that you can easily track the agent who took the money away from you, even if you are to make or to pay a complaint against this agent. That will be the best way for you. If you want to look at, for the address of that company, that bears its sponsorship in your visa that is the best way or that is where you can definitely go and track it out that is where you are going to start the tracking itself from that level hope i've tried to share something for you for those people that are in qatar here and looking for what to call the free lancer visa or you are looking at free lancer visas and you are applying for the visas outside from qatar that is the best option the best solution that i'll give you right now hope i've tried to share something for you and hope my advice will be very beneficial to you by the way if it's your first time to come across this channel don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that subscribe button